We got to record this stuff. We got to record this stuff because uh, Milan Kochan does not approve a military assistance to Ukraine. He is against even a sale of weapons to Ukraine. This was recorded on March 1st, 2022. I don't have to say what exactly happened on March the 1st, 2022. It's today, March the 4th of 2022. It's today the 10th day of war on Ukraine. Uh, what exactly, what's going on here with uh, March 1st? You can see a massacre that goes on in Ukraine and quickly you will get an idea about basically what goes on. Yeah, It's war in Ukraine right now. Maybe this is going to come handy to me in the future because uh, it's tweets like this that love to disappear. It's this kind of stuff that just somehow always disappears from the internet. So that's why I pay a special attention um, you know to this type of tweets. I just this is within the last 24 hours in Ukraine, as I stated today, is March the 4th, 2022. And the man you have just seen, he is a regular Udba individual. This is a KGB installment here in Slovenia. This is a Putin. This is like a small Putin in Slovenia uh, and does his filthy job for, uh, for the Putin in Slovenia and for the Vucic, basically for the Serbian president. So this basically is what's going on there's been already more than 1 million ukrainians that ran out of ukraine there's been i don't know how many people murdered within just few days ukrainian civilians i don't know how many dead by now So that you can see here, you have the number, more than, more than 2,000 Ukrainian civilians already killed. Um, look, probably the number is twice as many, you know. Soldiers defending Ukraine, how many killed? Russia only report 500 and 1500 wounded. Some numbers suggest more than 7000 Russians killed in attack on Ukraine. Uh, a lot of Ukrainian soldiers killed, and we have a president in Slovenia like this. Uh, this used to be a first president after assassination of Ivan Kramberger, and it's exactly why the assassination of Ivan Kramberger took place. Uh, this individual, this Moscow, this Belgrade installment became a president in Slovenia, basically. So this is this is what we have. But this little Putin is very, very active. This is actually Borut Pahor. You, you are watching, actually, he's a mentor of Borut Pahor. He's very, very active. He already went on to protest against pro-Ukrainian protesters in Slovenia, too.
he didn't waste no time. Um, uh, claims that unregistered rally uh, was insult to Ukrainians. Uh, Milan Kuchan excused Putin is violence. Uh, he he he. Milan Kuchan deems it's okay, it's okay for uh, Vladimir Putin to go and massacre Ukrainians. It's it's all good. It's all normal. This individual again. This is a mentor of Slovenian president Borut Pahor. This guy here. This is his mentor. This is his boss of this guy here. This this right here. This this is what we have as a president of Slovenia. That's what this is all about. And so I thought it would be really really nice for me to go and actually video record this stuff because I know this stuff is going to disappear. Um, most likely this stuff is going to disappear. This is so fucking embarrassing that it's unbelievable. Look, it's not even, I think, maybe three months or something like this, four months, when Milan Kuchan protested against existence of Bosnian Federation and stuff like this. This guy is a hothead, basically. Has to do with the Slovenia, let's put it this way. This was 21 hours ago, look at that. He's got to do with Slovenia as much as Vladimir Putin. That's how much this guy is Slovenian. He is Slovenian just as much as Vladimir Putin is. That's all. I don't want to say anything else anymore.